Hello Steelers fans! This is Tuka bringing you the latest news straight from the world of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive all the updates firsthand. And be sure to share this video with other passionate fans of the team. One piece of news that will surely warm the hearts of fans is the return to training of free agent linebacker Quan Alexander. Yes, you heard that right. For the first time since his Achilles tendon injury, Alexander is back on the training fields. And guess where he posted about these training sessions? Do you remember the 2023 season when Alexander wore the Steelers jersey? He made his mark, recording 41 tackles in 9 games until the moment of injury. And not only that, he also added 5 tackles for loss, a sack, 2 quarterback hits, a forced fumble, and a defended pass. What an incredible player, isn't he? Alexander, who is 29 years old, is an 8-year veteran in the NFL and has already played for 5 different teams. His journey began in 2015 when he was selected in the fourth round of the draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Since then, he has shown his quality on the field, leading the NFL in solo tackles in 2016 and earning a Pro Bowl berth in 2017. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing for Alexander. He has faced some injuries along the way, such as an anterior cruciate ligament tear in 2018, which kept him out for most of the season. However, even with these challenges, he has continued to show his resilience and talent. Now, speaking of team movements, the Steelers recently signed linebacker Patrick Queen to a three-year, groundbreaking contract worth $41 million. With this major signing, the Steelers' defense promises to become even stronger. But we can't ignore the situation of Cole Holcomb, who suffered a serious knee injury last season. Although he posted a training video, we still don't have a definitive update on his availability for the upcoming season. Coach Mike Tomlin commented on this during the NFL meetings, but we are still awaiting more information. And now comes the big question. With the possibility of Holcomb facing issues due to his injury or any other linebacker position injury, can the Steelers bring Alexander back? His recovery is uncertain, but it's certainly something that fans are eager to find out. So, fans, what do you think of Quan Alexander's return to training and the Steelers' movements? Share your opinions in the comments below. And let's talk about an exclusive interview with Deshaun Watson, where he shares some strategies to face the imposing defense of the Steelers. Deshaun has already had his clashes with the Pittsburgh Steelers and knows very well what to expect from them. As we know, each team has its own strategy when facing the Steelers. And Deshaun Watson didn't hold back on details when he shared his ideas on the QB Unplugged podcast, which he co-hosts with his coach Quincy Avery. According to Watson, one of the keys to beating the Steelers is to put the defense in the situation we want, especially when they are in their base formation. He points out that in these moments, the Steelers don't usually vary their coverage as much, which opens up opportunities to exploit. It's important to mention that Watson is recovering from a shoulder injury that sidelined him for the season after November. This injury also caused him to miss some games at the beginning of the 2023 season. Analyzing previous games, such as the Browns' playoff victory in Pittsburgh, it's clear that strategies like spreading the field with multiple tight ends have been giving the Steelers trouble. This highlights the need for adaptation on the part of the defense. Terrell Austin, the Steelers' defensive coordinator, has been working to counter these strategies, but Deshaun Watson points out that the Steelers tend to be less versatile when they're out of their base formations. What do you think of Deshaun Watson's analysis? Do you agree with his strategies for facing the Steelers? Leave your comments below. Let's talk about some criticisms made by offensive line coach Duke Manyweather regarding the treatment of Kendrick Green and Kevin Dotson by the Steelers. Manyweather, an offensive line guru, didn't mince words when discussing the utilization philosophy of these players. The controversy stems from how Kevin Dotson and Kendrick Green were utilized by the Steelers, especially after Dotson became a star with the Rams. Manyweather expressed his disagreement in an interview on the Chipped Ham and Football podcast with Brian Batko from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. 
He argues that Kendrick Green should have been used as the left guard from the beginning, just like he played in Houston, while Kevin Dotson should have occupied the right guard position. For many weather, the idea that players need to be versatile on both sides is questionable. It's worth noting that Kevin Dotson recently signed a three-year extension worth $48 million with the Rams, showcasing his value on the field. He had a solid season, particularly highlighting his protection of the quarterback. On the other hand, Kendrick Green, after some tumultuous seasons with the Steelers, was traded to the Texans in exchange for a sixth-round draft pick. His usage as a center and even as a tackle showed a lack of consistency in the Steelers' strategy. So, what do you think of Duke Manyweather's criticisms? Do you agree with his opinions on the treatment of Kendrick Green and Kevin Dotson? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content about the Steelers. Let's show our support for the team. Stay tuned for more updates here on Tuka News Steelers. Until next time.